Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to provide select permission on a single database to a user. And then in the second part, we will learn how to provide select permission on all tables in a database in MySQL server. Okay, so here we have a, one of the Linux box open where we have installed the MySQL. I'm going to connect to the MySQL by using a root user. Okay, provide the password. And now let's see the databases. Show databases will show us all the databases. And here is one of the database called the Tech Brothers IT New. Okay, I'm gonna hit uh, use and uh, just uh, use this database, and then I will type show tables. Okay, so we will be able to see the tables. I'm gonna move this one a little bit up so you can see what what I'm typing. Sometimes uh, it's easy when it's in the middle. So let me make it a little smaller so you can see more stuff for here. Okay. Great. So you see that um, uh, it is shown as uh, two tables, uh, MySQL, uh, sorry, my, my employee and manager. What, what I would like to do, I would like to create a user called TB and uh, that should have only permission, uh, select permission on a manager table. Uh, okay. So we will do create uh, user and uh, so we are going to say create user and uh, the username will be TB at the rate uh, localhost. Okay identified by uh, password so my password and the uh, dollar sign one two three okay this is it so the user is created now next part is the providing the permission to this user so as we would like to provide the permission only to the messenger uh, manager database sorry man manager table what we would like to do we'll say grant select on this database so tech brothers it new dot manager and uh, that's our table name so we are granting select on this object tech brothers it new database uh, dot ma manager and uh, to who to our new user called the tb i'm gonna just gonna copy and uh, paste it from here so just copy and paste okay this is all good now we will exit from here and we log in uh, with the the new user so my sql dash u instead of root i will say tb because uh, we are log going to log in by using a tb user okay and uh, provide the password okay we are logged in successfully now if we'll see like we really logged in by uh, this uh, user we can also just show grants and uh, that will uh, uh, also show us uh, the permissions it has so you can see that okay we are logged in as a tb and it has grant select on this manager table in the tech browser new it uh, table uh, database okay so we will go ahead and say uh, use let's say this database tech browser's it new show tables and it is showing us only one table because it has only select permission on a manager table um, we can say select uh, asterisk from manager and it should show us uh, only the data from a manager fine and uh, if we will say select uh, asterisk from employee even we can't see that uh, but uh, i'm going to give a try so you can say see that uh, select meant deny to user tb for a table employee okay now we will exit back from here and come back as a root again so dash u root p and the provide the password now what I'm going to do, I'm going to provide all the select permission on this uh, database. So show databases. So let's see here, uh, tech versus new. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say sell grant select on the tech versus IT new database dot asterisk to who TB at the rate local host. Okay. Now we are all good here now if we will exit from here so flush privileges okay uh, i'm gonna go ahead and exit from here and come back uh, and uh, i will come back as a uh, user tb so my scale dash u username tb and password okay ask me password and providing password right now show uh, databases so you notice that when we create uh, this um, 
uh, user we only provide permission to this uh, uh, tech browsers it new database so that's why it's only showing us only that database uh, also it is only showing us one of the uh, uh, system database called information schema so it's not showing us the other uh, databases so if you did not provide uh, permission on those like show show databases uh, for so it is not going to show you all those databases but it has select permission on this one so that's why it is uh, showing you okay so how we do that we say use um, tech browsers it new and then say show tables now it should show us all the tables in the database as we have provided uh, permission for every table in the database so, so if i want to see the permission so i will i will can say that show grants for tb at the rate localhost that will show me all the permissions of what uh, this uh, user has it uh, so you can see that it has the grant usage on uh, asterisk data asterisk due to tb okay so it can connect uh, it has select on uh, this uh, um, um, manager table and then uh, it had select on everything uh, right here so that's the command that's uh, that's given us permission on each and every table in tech browser's uh, it new database to the tb localhost uh, now if i will go and select the asterisk from uh, employee I should be just fine and it should return me all the records okay hit control c i have a lot of records okay that's how you will do it uh, so you will say uh, whatever the create user and then once you're done with the user uh, creation you will say grant select on database name db name dot table name to user so uh, user at the rate local host or whatever so whatever you put the single quotes around it if you want to say all then you, what you will say you will go with the grant select on db name dot asterisk to username so user and the at the rate local host or even the ip whatever uh, you have for the user so asterisk will give permission on all the tables um, and uh, every object uh, here so you will have select permission on all the objects views as well so here uh, single and here all okay great thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys uh, in next video